then I think we're really live. Are we really live? This is what I think is the simplest way to make guacamole. You want an avocado at the store that's probably not all the way black like these are. They were a little bit soft and now today, if I were to push a little bit harder with my thumb, I would leave an indentation in this avocado. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna use it. So I'm using two avocados. I have two limes here ready to go. I may use just one. It kind of depends on how juicy it is. Cilantro, of course, that's a given. You need cilantro to give it that guacamole flavor. And here's kind of my cheater step. I definitely recommend that you guys keep shallots on hand. They're kind of like a small version of a red onion crossed with garlic, so they have a little bit more of a garlicky flavor to them. So that's all we're gonna use, four ingredients. It makes it really, really easy. I don't count salt and pepper as ingredients, but I have a fresh pepper mill here. I have salt in a little pinch bowl thing here, and that's it. Here's how I hold a knife, first of all. Pinch the base of the knife right there and wrap the rest of your fingers around it. No holding it like this. This is not appropriate. This is how we hold a knife. All that's outlined in Practical Paleo. I insert the knife kind of right at the pit and just gently wrap it all the way around the avocado. Split the avocado. We're gonna do that again for this avocado here. Just right around, do it gently so that you don't mess up your hand. Here's how I take the pit out. I do a whack and a twist. All right, so we'll do it again. It's a whack and a twist. So just at the base of the knife, gently but firmly if that makes sense a whack and a twist and if your avocado is ripe it should not be too difficult to pull that pit out here's one way to get the avocado out of the skin you can just go ahead and run your spoon all the way around scrape scrape scraping the inside you really want to get all of that dark green see all that darker green more nutrients are in this darker green part than in the lighter green part. So you wanna make sure that you're getting that in the bowl. So I'm just gonna scoop the rest of these out, no big deal. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually get the shallot minced up. So how you're gonna slice this shallot is exactly how you're gonna cut an onion, except it's going to be smaller, obviously. So now I'm kind of holding it around the sides here. So this is about a couple tablespoons worth of shallot. All right, so I'm just gonna have that ready right here. I'm gonna have my limes halved and ready. Now, I'm a big cilantro fan, but I'm just gonna take a little bunch right here. This will probably be about three tablespoons chopped, maybe a quarter of a cup. Here's a little tip with cilantro, with a lot of herbs, especially basil, maybe with parsley, but I wouldn't know because I don't use parsley because I think parsley is the devil. <laughs> You don't need to take the leaves off of the stem. You can chop the stem of cilantro. So I just saved you about an hour every night using cilantro. All right, so now I'm just gonna mash this down with a fork. A couple of tips for ripening an avocado. You can stick it in a brown paper bag. That will help. You can store it next to an apple. There you go. I don't like to mash it up too much. I like it to be a little bit rustic. You could put that in a food processor if you wanted to. So I'm just gonna dump all that cilantro in. Again, that was maybe like, two to three tablespoons, and probably about two tablespoons of minced shallot. I'm gonna start with one lime, and then I'm gonna add the salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna taste it. I'm just gonna do a couple of pinches of salt. Because we have a lot of lime juice, we don't need a lot of salt. And I'm gonna do, I don't know, 14 grinds of fresh black pepper. And that's it, I'm gonna mix it all together. So there is the guacamole. Super simple, just four ingredients, salt and pepper don't count. You could add some of the smoky blend, just a couple of shakes of this would add some heat. So if you don't have a fresh jalapeno, a couple of shakes of smoky blend would give you that smokiness, obviously, and a bit of heat, so that would be good. Or if you wanted a little bit more like taco-y flavor, you could add some taco and fajita blend. That would be really helpful too. That's all I've got for you guys today. Remember, I post new videos every week. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this video or to share what you wanna learn more about from me. I'll see you next week. I'm gonna use some of these siete chips, green-free tortilla chips. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this on camera.